Everything could change for XRP in 24 hours. Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. I want to talk to you guys about XRP. So it hasn't been easy for XRP over the past few weeks. The price of XRP is now sitting around 50 cents. And XRP, of course, has this stink from it since the SEC has appealed or filed for an appeal on the uh, Ripple vs. SEC court case. And the price action has been sluggish. In general, the crypto market has pulled back a little bit over the past few days. Uh, Bitcoin, you know, jumped to 73,000, now pulled back to 67,000. So in general, the crypto market is showing a little bit of fear and XRP is kind of going with the flow a little bit with uh, the market. It was around 52 cents and now it's pulling back to 50 cents. But tomorrow, everything might change for XRP and I'll tell you what it is. You probably know, but uh, I'll tell you anyways. <laughs> we'll also talk a little bit about what the CEO of Ripple had to say recently and some other XRP news. All I ask from you is that you give me a beautiful smile to send out those good, good vibes. Smishity smash that like button and let's get into it. So currently XRP, like I said, is sitting around 50 cents down half a percent on the day. It was actually up. Uh, it was actually in the green uh, previously, but uh, Bitcoin did take a spill here. And uh, we are seeing a little bit of some things that are concerning here with Bitcoin that could show uh, more of a pullback, but you can see it pulled back here. Now it's coming back. So still a lot of volatility in the market. Um, we've seen a lot of liquidations, uh, but we did see something interesting from Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse got listed in acknowledgments of the WEF new report, Digital Asset Regulation Insights from jur jurisdictional, jurisdictional Approaches. Um, so this is interesting, right, that he is one of the people listed on this uh, list with the with the WEF, uh, World Econo uh, uh, what, what's the acronym? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> uh, but, but anyway, this is a very uh, a, a prestigious uh, thing here. Um, does it mean that the price of XRP is going to go up? No, um, but uh, it's, it was a very interesting anecdote. We also did see, this is already a few days ago, but we haven't talked about XRP in a while. There hasn't been really massive news that has been going on, but breaking news, 900 million XRP, 458 million was just unlocked at Ripple escrow. So that's interesting as well. Um, what, what is that? Every this has been going on. Stop, please. <laughs> Um, and uh, then we had here a message from the CEO, SEC war on crypto has lost after battle. The message for the market is clear. Institutional interest in XRP products is stronger than ever. Bitwise, Canary, and 21 shares just this morning filed S1s for XRP ETFs while Grayscale launched the XRP Trust and filed to convert its multi-asset fund, in, including XRP, into an ETF. The SEC war on crypto has lost battle after battle. There Continued disregard for the court's authority will further erode the SEC's credibility and reputation. And we did get a, a commercial here uh, for uh, RLUSD advertisement here released also by Ripple. Um, so this is fantastic news here. But the main dish, the main thing, the main, you know, news item that is coming for XRP is the U.S. election that is happening tomorrow. Now, this might be the most important U.S. election for crypto until, you know, we already we only had uh, a few <laughs> so far. But for XRP, it's even more important. <laughs> Sorry. Because if Trump does win, we know that he promised first day he's firing Gary Gensler, right? Now, Gary might not stay anyway at the SEC, but... We know if Trump wins, for sure he's not going to stay. It's not going to be up to Gary. And then in that scenario, we could see the whole legal team. We could see the whole uh, upper uh, brass of the SEC change out. And then they might start looking at you know what they're doing, where the resources are going, and just immediately or maybe in the next coming weeks, if, the, if of course, if Trump wins, dismiss the appeal. And this could cut down the time frame for XRP to be in this mud. Now, we've talked about this before, that even if Harris wins, right, and the court case continues, we did see XRP go up significantly when the market was pumping in 2021. Now, it could happen again in 2025, 
but I'm not a prophet. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. XRP has been very uh, uh, frustrating over the past few years. Many people that have been holding XRP could have invested in other things and could have made a significant amount of money. I saw a confession by someone that said that he took out a significant amount of money, invested in XRP in 2017, and he couldn't have invested in uh, other assets or even just Bitcoin, and he would have been a lot richer currently at this point in time. Maybe this will continue to be true, and maybe if XRP finally gets this you know bad cloud or dark cloud from above it and it sees sunny skies, then the price of XRP could go up significantly. And then that person that was, you know, complaining about how the, the, the money is quote unquote stuck, um, because if you zoom back, XRP was around the same kind of price range uh, in 2017. Um, I remember a friend of mine bought, and I think it was around 25 cents when he bought. So even if he bought then, it would have been up 100%, uh, but still 100% over, um seven years is on the border of an okay investment like when you talk about investments if you go to someone that's a entrepreneur uh they'll tell you that if you don't double your money in seven years that's considered a bad investment right so doubling your money in in, in seven years it's it's right on the the verge of being okay and with something like crypto which it's very risky and you only double your money in seven years, I think that would be considered a pretty bad investment. Um, so so long-term XRP hasn't brought people what they wanted, but as we get closer and closer to the end of this whole story, it could be, again, I'm not a prophet, uh, not financial advice, always do your own due diligence. Maybe XRP sticks here at 50 cents, maybe it goes up to a dollar and maybe someone, I just saw a video, someone said $500. Maybe it does that, I don't know. Um, but it's gonna be very interesting to see where XRP goes from here. Let me know in the comment section, who do you think is going to win the election? Will it be Trump? Will it be Harris? And how do you think uh, it will affect XRP if one candidate wins and the other candidate wins? Will If Trump wins, will it skyrocket? If uh, Harris wins, will it, will it drop? What do you think is gonna happen? Like right now, the market is very unsure. The market doesn't know what's going on. There's a lot of uncertainty. Some people are saying that because it's so tight in the polls, that because it's the electoral system, that we might have a situation where there's a landslide win to one candidate just because it's so close in, in many of these states that one candidate could win all of them, but on a very small margin. Like, And so the, the poly market is saying one thing and other places are saying other things. <clears throat> And it's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. I have been sitting on the sidelines, by the way. I have not been day trading over the past day or two because it is too volatile for me. It goes up 2-3% and then drops 2-3% and it goes, it's like, it's been crazy. Um, and so I just, I'm sitting back and relaxing and waiting to see what could potentially happen here uh, with the U.S. election. It's 24 hours uh, to go. Uh, tomorrow morning it starts, but you know probably by this time, maybe tomorrow night or, or the, the next morning we'll have results. Uh, and so after that, we'll probably know what's going on. So tomorrow will probably also be volatile like this in the crypto market. So it's gonna be very interesting to see what will happen here with uh, crypto, what will happen with XRP. Because if you look at it, the crypto fear is not too crazy, right? It's at 70, still greedy, of course, because Bitcoin is at 67,000 which is still pretty good. You know, we were at 50-ish uh, just a few weeks ago, 59,000. So we're doing better, right? But we're still not where we want to be. You know, we thought October, then uh, moon November, <laughs> which October, November are usually the best, October, November, December are usually the best months of the year for crypto. And so far it hasn't happened. So it will be interesting to see what happens here. Again, I'm not a prophet. I don't know if things are going to go up or down. Uh, but what I know is that uh, it's going to be a very fun ride. <laughs> fun or uh, scary. <laughs> Sometimes scary is fun too, right? But it's going gonna, it's gonna to be, it's all up in the air. We don't know what's going to happen. And furthermore, the day after, we got the Fed meeting. So that could rock the boat a little bit. Like even if we just had the Fed meeting on Wednesday, it would have been a pretty volatile week. 
But add on the fact that there's the election, it makes it a double whammy. So this this week has, has been very, very tricky. And I understand people that are stepping away a little bit from the crypto market uh, just because of the volatility. Um, but I don't know why. I think, I think it's going to be okay. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about this. Um, I, I think that no matter what uh, candidate wins, I think crypto is going to still be okay. Um, so it, it might take a little longer with the other, with uh, you know with Harris uh, and Trump. It could be you know a little bit uh, over overzealous a little bit, and that's not always good as well. Sometimes we see a pump and then a dump. Um, so I'm 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 being careful. I'm being cautious, and I'm I'm you know being a little bit, you know, because I've experienced some things over the past year, I know that anything can happen, okay? So you got to be careful of that. And, you know, Iran said that they're waiting after the elections to, you know, send an attack, right? So I'm, I'm getting ready mentally for that as well. <laughs> um, last time was a, was a fun experience, um, but uh, we'll, we'll be okay. So don't forget to smash the like button and check out the links in the description down below. Of course, like I said, not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.